and this is the third episode of my Disney Princess Coloring Series. I colored these two postcards in previous episodes. I make mistake. I went crazy, and I tried super super hard to make them great again. If you're interested, don't forget to check them out at the top right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Maybe the next episode I will color your favorite Disney princess. And now let's see who is our next Disney princess. Wow, it's Snow White. I never see Snow White as a child before. Interesting. Snow White always occupied a very special place in my heart. She's not my favorite princess, but she is just special to me. When I was in kindergarten, my parents dressed me up as Snow White in some kind of makeup party in school. My parents even prepared a seven dove cushions for me. At that time, I I feel so embarrassed because the cushion just way too huge for me to hold, and the Snow White dress is way too long for me to walk on the stage. I was extremely clumsy and uncomfortable, but every time. My parents talk about that. They will laugh and smile. That's why Snow White is so special to me. She like represent part of my childhood. She will always be in these funny, cute little memories among my family. Okay, personal story ends. Let's talk about the drawing. The first thing come into my mind for the background is. A forest. I think it is very typical background for Snow White. So I want to twist the idea a little bit, and I'm gonna to tell you the twist very soon. Do you remember why she is named Snow White? Because she has a skin as white as snow, so I want to keep her skin as white as possible too. I want to put her in a pink cherry blossom forest. Because from my memory, Snow White is always in a dark color tones forest, so I think it's gonna to be special if she can finally enjoy in a warm and light color tones forest. Is that sound professional to you, huh? 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 Well. Actually, I just make it up. <laughs> the only reasons I do it is just because I love pink. Yeah. <coughs> Moving on to her dress. After I draw the 10K Elsa big dress, I think I had a better idea about how to draw dresses wrinkle. I imagine how her legs posed. And then lay the wing coat on her dress. I try to use different colors for the shading of the dress, like pink, purple, and even a little bit blue. I'm so glad that it turned out so great. I don't like her eyes and lips in this drawing, 
So I'm going to paint them in white and redraw them later. Last time, Lilo's hairs turned out really, really great. So this time, I will just make use of what I have learned from the last time. After I get the idea of pink cherry blossom forest, I start finding some references and I really fall in love with these references it is a drawing from this artist I don't want to pronounce her name wrongly so I just leave her information in my description she is very very talented in drawing landscape and I love the color used in her drawings they are very bright and colorful and her landscape also give me a fantasy and magical feelings i love all of this and for this piece it's really like exactly what i want in my head i decide to study how she draw trees flowers and leaves in this piece i want to apply in my drawing I love how she handled the foreground, middle, and the background with different colors and it creates depth for the background. I feel I learned a lot through her work. For the animals, I color them with a warm color tone which is very close to the background so they can blend into the background instead of standing out too much from the background. I want Snow White is the only one who stands out from the background and the animal could just be part of it. Finally, I outlined the silhouette of the tree, flowers, and leaves with my fine liner and white gel pen. I also add a little shadows at the foreground with my purple tumble brush too. I feel so relieved that I don't have to fix any drawing disaster this time and I really really love how this cherry blossom forest turns out and it looks so dreamy the pink, yellows and purple colors turn out so great and they just match each other so perfectly in this drawing I learned to create depth 
for the background with different colors and I also get to practice drawing little tiny details of the background I'm looking forward to see how much I can improve in drawing background because this coloring book just keep kicking my butt and make me to create more and more background for all these cute little princess Feel free to comment down below, tell me what problems you had when you are drawing backgrounds Maybe we could deal with it together in my future videos If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give me a like and hit the subscribe button down below It really really helps this video showing up to more people according to the YouTube algorithm Especially for smaller YouTube channel like mine I still trying to get my first 100 subscribers Yes, yeah, so please please hit the subscribe button your support really means the world to me and I hope that I can celebrate with you at the time when I hit 100 subscribers yeah lastly love yourself love your day and I will see you guys someday bye